So today's a travel day. It's also my birthday. I don't know that I'd say age is just a number. I'm turning 37. I felt way better <laughs> 10 years ago. But um, I think age is definitely overrated. There's definitely some people that have done some pretty cool stuff no matter what age they are. We're traveling from Glenwood Springs to uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. Everybody has their own routine of how they get things ready. Here's uh, kind of our routine. Wow. Take the trash. It's really cricket, doesn't it? Orange. Get to clean up whatever mess Hensley's made outside. Tomato. Tomato? That's a potato. Clean up the grill, if the ladder's out, all that kind of stuff basically in and around the RV is the next thing. While I'm cleaning up outside, Marissa's working on the inside. One of the other things I've usually got to do, <laughs> I've got to install our car seat in the RV. When Marissa drives behind me, we don't have to move things around, the car seat just stays in the car. But we're, we're hooking up today, so car seat's got to be moved. One thing I thought I would get used to that I never have is all the squeaking and churning and just noises the slides make every single time they work. I know they're just doing their thing. It's made me nervous from day one from the first RV we had with slides until even today. I'm always just like closely listening to see if anything just sounds just a tiny bit out of the norm. You're not gonna have a perfectly quiet slide. At least we, we never have. <laughs> We had somebody ask um, if our bay doors are open. Do they ever catch on the slides? No, I mean, they. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt there's a manufacturer who did not think about that, but Newmar, um, it doesn't catch the bay doors. They, if we forget one and it's open, the slides still come in just fine. The only thing we've had to watch out for, I don't know how they get around this other than just making the slides shorter, which I wouldn't want, is this uh, the driver's seat. If it's too far back, it will catch the slide sometimes. Makes you jump a little bit every time, doesn't it? <laughs> And then the last step, this one varies depending on where we're going to next. But typically the last thing we do is put up the sewer, the water, the electric, all that stuff. We do try to keep our water tank at least half full. If we know we're going to be boom knocking for a while, we fill it up all the way. The next place we're going, we're just staying one night. So we don't need that much water. And then we're going to a full hookup after that. So I'm going to fill up the water tank about halfway and then put all this stuff up. And we'll get out of here. I'm not sure how the water fill works on a lot of RVs. I love this Numar though. I mean, if you're hooked up, just flip it to on, you're good to go. <laughs> Marissa's, cool. Marissa's pulling the car around back. We're gonna hook the car up, we're gonna get out of here. But, <laughs> small problem I just noticed, not just noticed, it was doing this before. I'm pretty sure the battery shot on the chassis. Plan B is, um, I don't know exactly how the inverter works and all that works, but last time, we had nothing, we were boondocking when this happened at our last spot and uh, we cranked up the generator for about 10 minutes and it, it did start up after about 10 minutes. So we're gonna wait and see, I guess. Uh, it's not one to take a charge. I do know I can take my car over here, I would think, um, and try to jump it off. But I mean, there's gotta be an auto zone or something close to here. We're in a pretty good spot for me to just go get a battery. So. Happy birthday to me, right? <laughs> Go celebrate this at uh, some sort of battery place. We'll see. So this O'Reilly's was actually just, man, it's like just five or 10 minutes from our side. So pretty good, uh, figure out that's why the reason I want to go ahead and just, just see if I can get this done. It's one of those deals where you hope they find something wrong because I really want this to be the battery. I feel pretty confident it's the battery. I mean, the thing is old. It's it's the original battery that was in the RV. Battery's toast. Got another battery, 130 bucks. <laughs> 
It's the birthday that just keeps on giving. Battery's in, next to my helper. Cranked up. We're in business. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. All right, let's get out of here. We made it to James Robb Campground. It's about 30 minutes east of Grand Junction. It's right on the Colorado River in this uh, canyon here. So it's, I know we've never said this about a campsite at Colorado, but pretty beautiful place. <laughs> oh, and it's a, uh, it's a state park. You're almost so excited about the playground, I don't want to show it, because I think we never take you to the playground. And the place we just left was uh, Amy's Acres Campground in Glenwood Springs. You know, it's 34 bucks a night, full hookups. Great shade. We were within minutes of everywhere we wanted to go. So, I mean. It was so nice having pool hookups. We yeah. haven't had those in a long time. Uh huh. Yeah, so that, I think that made it. I told Nathan it felt like a luxury hotel having yeah. pool hookups. There wasn't really any special amenities there at the campground, but it was, it was a good location and we were living in luxury with the full hookups. So, <laughs> <laughs> it was what we needed when we needed it. It was a good spot. Come on, let's do this thing. One, two, Oh, yay! That was a little fast, babe. Let's go to this one over here. Hey, <laughs> she was airborne on that thing. Do a big hop, or you want to see it do a bunch of little hops? Hops? Oh, uh, kind of did both. Didn't we? Daddy's birthday tastes so good. Can you say happy birthday, Daddy? Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Hensley. So good. Mm-hmm. Oh, would you come help me? <laughs> What's wrong with mine? Mmm, yummy. Another year in the books for me. It's funny when you're younger, you're always wanting to be older, and when you're older, you always want to be younger. <laughs> I'm happy with where we're at. You good with it? Yeah. You gonna take care of me? I'll take care of you. I <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> so it didn't have a completely smooth day, but it definitely <laughs> could have been worse, I guess. Um, mm. I know, I hated that happened on your birthday. <laughs> the RV doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> it was the uh, the RV's birthday gift to you. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> like we've done before, you just roll with it and get to where you need to be. I think like most of the spots we've been to in Colorado are like the kind of things that I didn't really like lakes and I mean this is another canyon mm -hmm. and like I just didn't think of canyons when I thought of Colorado but there's some beautiful canyons here too I mean there's it's just a lot of stuff I know we've been in Colorado a while but we just can't get out of it there's <laughs> so much to see everywhere we go so beautiful we're only at this state park for one night and then we're heading to a jelly stone. Yeah, and we have plans in October to be somewhere, so mm -hmm. that's why we had a lot more on the list, but it doesn't look like we're gonna make it. But that's okay, we, we just, we take our time, we can see what we can see, and we'll definitely be out this way again. Yeah, that's what's tough, you know, about making reservations, but it's it's mm -hmm. an event in October. It um, only happens once a year. Once a year, I mean, so. We picked this year to do it, so. <laughs> um, so we know where we gotta be, and, and that's, that's part of it when you book stuff. We had a route plan where we maybe hope to even get into Utah, but I don't think. I'm so excited to get into Utah, though. <laughs> we might hit up where the Four Corners are and say we stepped into Utah. <laughs> but we are definitely going to get into Utah, but I just don't know that it'll be, you know, this route. We'll be back. Hensley, you want to say bye to the camera? Bye, camera. Wait, it can't hear you. you got to come, come over, over here. here. She's barbecuing their animals and her teddy bear right now, so. Don't put that up there. You'll Hensley, your teddy bear will get dirty. At least say bye over there. Can you say... Say bye camera. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> so at least the teddy bear said goodbye. We're gonna call it night as well. Two days in a row, but uh, tomorrow's somewhere new. 